Eastern Michigan took on Howard. Former walk-on Zach Conti in the game for Eastern Michigan. More on him coming up momentarily. Eastern Michigan up 23-6. Howard kicking off. And this is Hamzi El Zayat, who's going to go 96 in Ypsilanti. Love a good special teams operation here. Cuz with the one flying around. Great football last night. This was a good game. Eastern Michigan, a 33-23 win, but that is not the biggest win they've had in the early part of the season as Jen Latta joins us. Jen, you know, in our culture today, it seems like the right and the left can't agree on anything but the spirit of compromise alive in Ypsilanti. Reese, it is so great to be back with the best fans in all of sports here on College Game Day. So let's talk offensive linemen for a minute, right? Offensive linemen take a lot of pride in protecting the quarterback, looking out for the quarterback. And in the case of Zach Conti at Eastern Michigan, he protects that blind side. But back in August, it was him that was blindsided by the generosity of one of his fellow offensive linemen who was looking out for him. He is the most selfless teammate I've ever been associated with. They're all in. They go all out. Earn, not given. We talk about it all the time. When a walk-on finds out that their talent and effort are being rewarded with a scholarship. We've never had a walk-on make that wall. The moment is always made more memorable by the reaction from their teammates. We still have him because he's going to put on a <laughs> But this offseason, on this campus, it was the action of one teammate that made the moment possible. If guys don't have each other's backs, then I really don't think that you truly are a team. Everybody matters. Eastern Michigan offensive lineman Zach Conti has spent the last four years as an Eagles walk-on. But headed into the 2023 season, he was getting first team reps and was the projected starter at left tackle. He doesn't bring attention to himself. He just goes about his work. He's made a massive commitment to be here. Over the years, Zach has come up with different ways to cover his college expenses and keep his football dreams alive. Hey, here we go. I've been working landscaping ever since 2019. It's been like my most consistent income. I also rip out tile for my father and then I rip out carpet as well. And uh, I've also donated plasma before. It was exhausting, but I knew I wanted to play football. So it was all, this is what I got to do to do it. We'd see him come home at night with wheelbarrows or you know mounds of dirt in the back end of his truck. He was going to walk away and probably like jump in the transfer portal to see if like a smaller division would help him with scholarships. Two-time captain and right tackle Brian Dooley has been on scholarship and a starter for the Eagles since 2019. Zach is not the person to ask for help. I told him I was like, good things are going to come, just keep working. We're at 85 scholarships, and no matter how many times or how many years I go to the NCAA, and say, yeah, but man, I'm just telling you, we need 86. The answer is no. You have 85. Until Brian Dooley comes into my office. Zach, still having a walk on, has your starting left tackle, it just didn't sit well with me. I knew I had to do something for him to help him out. And he said, Coach, I am willing to give up my scholarship and to give it to Zach Hunt. Where are you, Dooley? Yeah, see? Let's go! First thing that he said to me was, love you, brother. And I said, love you back. It was an unbelievable moment. I mean, it wasn't, you know, a folded piece of paper that said, surprise. I mean, it was, it was the scholarship. So it was awesome. Well, I just wanted to say, I love all you guys. Brian. Appreciate you so much, brother. Uh, that's what it matters. Yeah. Some people say, why do it? And it was because I know Zach. I'd do it again for him. He's a brother to me. I just couldn't let him walk away from something that he's built here.
We talk a lot about brotherhood and having each other's back in college football. What a great example that was out of Eastern Michigan. We talked to Brian's mom, Jen, who said that her family will take out a bank loan in order to cover their additional expenses this season. She guesses it'll be about $25,000, but she added, this is who her son Brian has always been, caring and giving for everyone. And she shrugged and said, I guess we raised a pretty good human being. Guys, I think she's right. I don't think there's any doubt about that, Desmond. What a selfless gesture, sort of epi epitomizing team. Incredible. Great piece by Jim Lather. But to Zach, that probably felt like he actually donated and got an organ from his teammates. So that was just a huge move, huge move and a great gesture. Yeah, and in 2023 was the NIL thing. Like, don't get that loan out. $25,000, we'll find somebody to help that out. If that human exists, I feel like we should promote that. If that type of selflessness exists, I feel like we should help out that person. That feels like a story that is a great depiction of what football is, what football locker rooms are. Everybody's together. It doesn't matter where you're from, what your background is, who in everything comes together for one. It is beautiful. I was crying during that yeah. thing. Yeah. That's teammates. That's football. Yep. Yep. I think anybody, love, you know, we're fortunate to be in locker rooms. And I think anybody who's been in a locker room, you can relate to that. What, what Brian, I think his awareness to see that, that Zach, what he was doing to try to make that commitment to be on that team, what he was doing just to try to make, uh, you know, make it uh, off the field, all the work that he put in, the, the fact he recognized that and was yeah. able to honor him, yeah, it's the epitome of team. I mean, that's what makes this, this sport and what, why we love it so much. Just fantastic. And it'll make you root for Eastern Michigan just oh, about man. the rest of the season, yeah. for sure. What a morning here in Charlotte, North Carolina and South Carolina.